things. You're free to go. Thanks for the help. That's it? What happened? Is Eli in lockup? It's a Tahitian custom. I carry you everywhere. Oh, well, I don't quite remember that the last time that we visited. Oh, no? No. Of course, I was busy dealing with your brother's business because he was married to Taya. Mm-hmm. Information you were very willing to use. Well, I thought that was her big secret. Little did I know that she was hiding Todd's daughter. Sorry, Anne. Oh, I am so sorry. Please go. No, I'm not leaving you here like this. How much do you want to bet that's David? Anybody, anybody, and take whoever that is at the door with you. Please, please, please. No, I am staying right here with you. Who is it? It's, it's Vicky. I will definitely get rid of her. Don't worry. No, no. Let her in. Are you sure? Yes, dear. Let her in. Yeah, but she can't. See you like this. Uh, j just a minute. sticking around? Because I don't know how Aunt Dorian's doing, and if Langston doesn't come out here any minute, I'm gonna have to go in. Then I'll go get the car. Why are you in such a hurry? The sitter can't stay late, remember? Right. Look, you can call on the way home. Okay, sure. Yeah. Lang, what happened? How's Aunt Dorian? Bad. Very, very bad. Should we leave her alone? Well, your Aunt Vicky's with her right now. Then she's in good hands. I guess so. So we can go. I've got a better idea. How in the hell did Eli escape? What, what, what about Blair? She went with him. He took her hostage. She doesn't know anything about it. They're eloping. My brother's called ten times. I have to go. You want protection, you can have it. But I don't think Eli's coming back. So I put my brother's life and my neck on the line. For nothing. Yeah, well, we're gonna find him. Before he kills somebody else? You know, Ross won't be here till morning. We have the place all to ourselves. Hey, what is it with the phone? I know that I could make phone calls the last time that I was here. Yeah, wow, that is annoying. Yeah, you know what? Let me, let me use your phone. I haven't had any bars since we landed, babe. And, you know, about those airplanes. <laughs> 
sorry about the puddle jumpers. It's, but all right. it's all I could book at the last minute. They did get us here, though, hmm. to paradise. Yeah, with your brother, who would be a fugitive if anyone even knew he was alive. He's the only family I have. Yeah. Thanks again for agreeing to do this. No, I almost didn't. Really? Mm-hmm. Now, what's going on? Really? You and Ross aren't even close. Why are we really here? Before, I never cared at all about family. Then I met you and the other Kramer women. Oh, and you wanted to build your own team. <laughs> Let's just say I began to see the value in it. Okay. It's nice to have someone who can be happy for you. Well, I hope Ross is happy for you now. When I had to deal with him, watching him try to talk Danny into jumping off of that bridge, Eli, I swear, I don't know, he just seemed... What, pushed to the edge? He was. He's <sighs> about to lose his daughter. Everything he knew in the world. Uh, I swear, I don't know, if that happened to me... You know what? You would cope... I'd like to hope so, Blair, but it's just as likely I could snap even harder than Ross did. You never know, Blair. So the wedding's tank, but we're still at a country club. Let's hang. Here? Yeah, you can get service like anywhere in here, can you? No, uh, it's been a long day. We're going. Yes, it's just me and you. I'm kind of tired, too. You're not going to wait for your mom? She doesn't want to see me. She doesn't want to see anyone. So you're not going to stay? I'm really not in the mood. Oh, Dorian. How is this my fault? You and Charlie pushed me and David together. I knew better. I was through with the man. I knew that if I ever gave him a second chance, he'd hurt me again. See, I don't think that David did this. He was right on schedule according to your plan. Do you really think that I wanted you hurt? Yes. I'm running this town. I'm the mayor. I'm doing good things. People look up to me. I was a happy, strong woman. And you couldn't stand to see that. I swear to you that that's not true. You pushed David and me together. If I had had any idea, based on past history, the man left me at the altar. Now, twice. I think that something happened. I was humiliated, that's what happened. No, no, I mean to David. Because I know, as surely as I know anything, David loves you. Listen, I'll tell you what. I'll leave you alone if you just tell me exactly where I am. You're in prison. I figured that one out on my own. Where is the prison? You were here before. That doesn't narrow it down much. Think back. you since last night where the hell have you been with the girl with the cops wait that cop took you in i thought the neighbors just called to complain about noise what's going on bobby it's a long story well how'd you find out where i was i listened to all your messages so what's going on here james and i are on a date langston invited me to a double wedding must have been pretty private it got canceled Blair and Eli eloped, and my mother called off her wedding. Elijah Clark was here? For a while, I guess. So they took off? Where'd they go? No one knows. But you're sure they left town? Yeah, why? Just wondering. 
Come on, James, let's go. Uh, no, um, James and I were just gonna go for a swim. Thanks, Stan. Sounds great. Yeah, it does. I'm up for a swim. My fiance is the mayor. She loves me. She'll come find me. Did you read that? Yes. Yes. Dear Dorian, I can't marry you. I realize now, till death do us part doesn't work for me. I can't be tied down to one woman. We both know it's a matter of time before I hurt you. It isn't you, it isn't another woman or women yet. It's me. I guarantee this hurts me more than it hurts you. Lots of love. David. The man makes himself very clear. Yeah, I know it does sound like him. Is it his writing? It's his spelling. He leaves off the U in guarantee. I... I don't know. The man dumped me. Those are David's words. Dorian knows I love her. She'll come after me. What other explanation can there be for David leaving me at the altar? Dorian knows there's no reason I'd ever leave her at the altar again. You really think you're like your brother Ross? I'd like to think I'm as good as he can be. Do you know that when Danielle and Taya first came to Tahiti and discovered yeah, that Ross I was know, alive? Yeah, I know, I know. Ross told Danny that Todd was a real father. No, no, it was more than that. Taya told me that Danielle wanted to stay. But it was Ross that convinced her to go back to Landview and give Todd another chance. I didn't know that. Imagine if he hadn't done that. Todd and Danielle might not be speaking at all. Imagine that now. Hey, my shift's over. Can I drive you home? Yeah. All right, some fun in the sun. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, do you guys know Nate? No, he's our brother. I'm gonna go take a shower. You wanna join me and wash me clean? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to get things ready out here. Okay, you're lost. Yes, it is. I'm really okay right now with everything that's beautiful, but as soon as the wedding tomorrow, I mean, I just want to head back to Landview as soon as possible. I'm really worried about Danny, and if something were to happen to Taya, Eli, I'd just... Of course, Eli, of course. Just... We'll get married in the morning, spend just a little bit of time with Ross, and we'll be on the next plane out. I swear. Okay. I'll be quick. Supposed to be an emergency only. What's going on? Taya changed her mind. She wants Todd and Danny to come to the hospice. 